sometimes you you got to deviate, realizing that the ICM pressure is so intense. A couple kings here for Juan Pardo. The solvers haven't really accounted for JNT yet, have they? No, they, they, it scrambles it. Like, <laughs> what do you mean these are the ranges we got to input? Oh, my God. Ouch. JNT has already taken aces up against kings. That's how he showered James Chen. Here he is now, three betting to a million over the top of Juan Pardo, who is going to be powerless to do anything other than flat. Look at the hands. It's ace, king suited, and pocket jacks. A three or four-way confrontation incoming. I'll take the over on confrontation. This is Oppenheimer Poker Edition. Atomic. Truly nuclear. Explosive four bet incoming. Ra radioactive is this scenario. Geiger counters going nuts. I mean, one could not fault Stephen Chidwick for maybe thinking. I block both of the hands that are actually out there right now. I'm suited. A delightful four-bet candidate. He's in there. Look at the jack. Straight into the muck. Love that from Daniel Cates. Mind you, it was a cold four-bet in front of him. Oh, boy. Wait, did JNT say all in or not? Oh, my. I... Did you hear I that? heard all in, and for a second I thought it was part of, but his lips didn't move. In this episode of Weekly Poker Hand, we have an insane spot in a $125,000 buy-in tournament at the final table. Six players remain in the Triton Super High Roller Bowl in London. Juan Pardo, world-class player, under the gun, raises it up to $400,000 with pocket kings. That's pretty good. Over around to Jean Thorell. He has $6.7 million. He bumps it up to 1 million, 2.5x, with pocket aces. Juan Pardo is set up to death. Over round to Stephen Chidwick. Stephen Chidwick, good, strong, world-class battling player, playing 9.6 million deep. He is the chip leader. In this scenario, I think his only good option is to format. Ace-King suit is great. You're happy getting it in. He does make it 2.3 million. Fine. Over round to Daniel Cates, the jungle man. In the big blind with pocket jacks. Fold. Easy fold. One of the first things you learn as a young poker player is when it goes raise and re-raise from two early position players and you have jacks, you fold. When it goes raise and re-raise and re-re-raise, you fold almost everything. Jungle Man quickly puts his cards in the muck. Easy fold. Now, back around to Juan Pardo. And before Juan Pardo can even think... Jean Duel Thorell, from out of position, says, all in. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how this proceeds. I mean, I don't know that it matters, but obviously you don't love to hear it. I thought I heard it, Ollie. Now, I got to ask you this. Is verbal action out of turn binding, Randy? It is if it doesn't change the action. So if Juan Pardo... Calls. Which, I believe he can change his mind. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the exact ruling. Given this situation, it's quite tricky. But it's a big statement to hear someone say "all in" with these forty big blind stacks. Efforting, by the way, in a quick discussion on the sidebar with producer James, what the implications of this out-of-turn verbal declaration by JNT are in terms of Juan Pardo. If Pardo were to raise himself, then JNT gets his action back. This if he flats, though, James... Okay, so we're being told that if Juan Pardo flatted, he could force the all-in 
from JNT. Not that with these two hands specifically, Randy, anything different is going to happen. I mean, this is... But Ollie, he's using multiple time banks, actually thinking about folding these two kings. There's no other reason. Because it's insane for JNT to still jam. Look at the stack size. This is number one and number two in chips, and he's saying, I want to commit all of them out of turn. No way, he folds two kings, Ali. Was it seven, six? Yes. Mind blowing. After a lot of thought and a little bit of agony, Juan Pardo somehow folds pocket kings. The number two. Look, I don't think I would have folded in this spot. I would have reluctantly put my money in. You just have to know one of your two opponents have exactly aces. And the thing is, yeah, Chidwick could have aces, but he's going to take an ace X and bluff it some portion of the time. So if anything, that kind of blocks Jean Durrell's aces, right? That said, Juan Pardo made the right fold, and he ended up hanging around in this tournament, and he saved his stack. What I want to know before we move forward and see how Chidwick proceeds is, have you ever folded pocket kings? If you have, let me know the circumstances, because it takes a really special spot to find a decent fold with them. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually speechless as I have to imagine, Randy, that it was JNT's out of turn all in that had everything to do with Juan Pardo finding the muck and miraculously sparing himself. Look at this. He suspected he was up against aces and he was right. This... I have to say, in all the years that I've been doing commentary, Randy, is the most insane hand that I've ever observed pre-flop. I agree. What an amazing fold, two kings. And Chidwick showing acute optimism as he says, sounds like spades are alive. Only one hit this flop in a 16 million chip pot. Number one and number two. Chidwick has JNT covered. That's the only mercy as the five of diamonds on the turn leaves him drawing dead and leaves me absolutely shell-shocked. John Noel does put the money in. Back around to Chidwick. It's an annoying spot, but I think you, again, just kind of have to call it off. The thing is, if you consider the hands that Juan Pardo is going to be agonizing with and then folding, it's probably going to be a lot of ace-king and pocket-queens. And that doesn't really impact your ace-king all that much. Yeah, we know Jean Noel is a great hand. Maybe every once in a while he has queens or jacks and was just happy to put it in. It's an annoying spot, but I think you probably just have to play. And that is exactly what Chidwick does. This time he does not flop the nuts, and Jean Noel takes a massive chip lead. Tough spot for everyone involved except for Jean Noel. And sometimes it works out. That's going to be it for today. If you have any Comments, questions, feedback, suggestions, let me know down below. Click the like and subscribe button. And if you thought this hand was crazy, we actually have one of the craziest hands you will ever see lined up next. Check it out, enjoy it, and I'll talk to you next time.